When you create a website, you should design it with a specific color scheme so that the message you intend to convey will be of use based on the colors that you use. In this video, we will teach you how to create a web page, which a series of them will create a website. A web page consists of a body of codes. It can also contain a head for the title and a foot for the comments. The background and foreground colors of a web page can be customized. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. Using a simple software from Microsoft called Notepad to create an HTML file, we will save the Notepad file as .html and the beginning and end codes should have the HTML bracket so that it would work as a web page. We should define the head, body, and foot sections using brackets of head, body, and foot. We can customize the foreground and background colors by setting the styles of these sections individually. For the body, we set the background color to green, which is 0080000. The first two numbers on a hex code refer to the red color. The green color refers to the two middle numbers in the hex code. And lastly, the blue code refers to the last two numbers. Red, green, and blue, when you combine them together, creates white, which is six letters of F. Alphanumeric characters actually for this hex code. It can be 0 to 9 or A to F. And then the color we set for the body, I mean the foreground, is yellow, which is quadruple letter Fs, and just only a pair of zeros to create the number and letter color code yellow. Meanwhile, we set the foot's background color to black, which is all zeros in the six digits and the color foreground should be white all F's all letter F's meanwhile the head remains white in background so you don't have to set the background color because that's the default white the foreground color has to be modified to double letter F to set it to the color red when you write titles and paragraphs, you should use between H1 to H6 for the title to indicate how big or small your title size should be in font. For the paragraphs, you just simply use the letter P in brackets to indicate that this is one paragraph. To make the paragraphs more conspicuous, more clear to read, we can also use italic and underlines. Here's how you do it. For italics, you should use brackets containing the letter I in the beginning and end of the highlight. And then for underlines, we use the letter U in brackets beginning and end also. Just look at what would happen once you subject them to letter I or letter U. Let's not forget that the bold or thickened font should use the letter B in brackets. Isn't that more conspicuous to you that we use different styles of font? 
Take a look at the paragraphs closely. The colors have been italicized, while the subjects have been underlined. That should make it more easy to read the paragraph, and more interesting also. I hope you find this video interesting to watch as I teach you how to create a basic web page that has some enhancements.